Hello everyone, Chisholm the Cat on the scene, with the first trial of the Turnabout Samurai. A game. There we go. Wow. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. <clears throat> the prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. Wow, I already forgot what voice I gave him. Welcome back. Thank you. October 15th. The defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Sorry, I was moving something. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edward, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Sup, guys? Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir, I'll explain with a guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? Here is the employee area. The extras did a run through of their action scenes during their morning here, during the mornings here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studio here is at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that area are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, uh, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. And after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. Yeah, given the costume he's wearing, it wouldn't be thick enough to absorb blood. Especially if he was wearing something that exposed his chest and sleeves, it would have just dripped down his back. Samurai Spear was found lodged in the victim's chest. That was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? Yeah, may as well. I'm sorry, could you describe it one more time? Should have known it'd be you, pal. Fine, one more time for the mentally challenged lawyer. Oh. Maybe the back says everything. Uh, yeah, live it up while you can, Gumshoe. Okay, this is just gonna repeat all this. Okay, yeah, this is just a repeat. It's not the murder one. It looks way too big to be caused by a spear. Hang on, let me take a look at that. Moreover, wouldn't there be blood around the hole? And a spear that thick would have gone through him. Brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder. So the murder weapon was the spear. How medieval! Kind of weird that it would be a circular hole. Your Honor, the case is quite simple if you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Who wants your milk and cookies? Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? Oh god, it's April May all over again. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. 
your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need to be so embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Good oof. <laughs> I don't know if that'll pick up. Uh -huh. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy, old bag, dearie. So, just call me Grandma. Practically, when I was young, an old bag, dearie. It was something. Do you believe it? There was a captain in the chase of the junior high, and when he called me out of the old bag. Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. Witness shall refrain from rambling on its Oh, I get it. Windy old bag. Ah. <laughs> I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness is stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, yeah, I was. To get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <clears throat> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest of the staff have been doing a run through there since the morning. Well, I had, I well had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 p.m. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Wait, did you see the spear did it? Yeah, wouldn't he have had to carry the spear with him? On the day of the murder, I arrived to the guard station at 1pm. Poor old Hammer and the rest of the crew were doing a run-through since the morning. So errands from the morning. What were these errands? Well, there's your issue. The spear is a... Oh, the spear... Mmm. It could be something like what happened uh, with the crow incident. What kind of it? of errands. Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know. Oh man, I'm gonna be exposed. Hey, Celeste! It's already there. They were going to film a scene there. Oh, that's true. And yeah, what happened with the crow incident was, um, when they were making one of the crow movies, uh, they were doing a fight scene but someone replaced one of the props with an actual weapon, so the actor, so the actor actually got killed. Because of the rehearsal accident, where someone replaced a prop with a real weapon. Yeah. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Wait, Preserver! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job! I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway. I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always! I never missed one in all my years! Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Oh, yeah. How did you know that? Oh, I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Mm. Poor detective got you getting ran out by his security guard. Mm. Mm. Susan handles all the props, remember? And she is small. She could have clung through the whole thing so the old lady could see. Oh, this is true. Interesting to me because a certain man walked by at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right here, and he was heading towards the studio. How do you know? 
So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said! Got wax in your ears, Sonny! I'll say it again, it was him! Yeah, except what you saw was this. Ow. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Mm. Yeah, poor Banks. And the clothes look too small in the photo. Clothes for an adult male wouldn't fit a young girl. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't! Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Mm. Hey, I didn't know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in the court is accusing you of that, Miss, er, uh, witness. Hmm. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmph, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. Oh, this is the robot again. What, huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness. Please make known all information in your possession ahead of time. I was had to know everyone would be so nosy. You should be ashamed, all of you. This is an investigation, ma'am. That this is a courtroom. You're a witness. Giving a testimony. I f Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Ugh. Wow, old windbag has even left Edward speechless. She's good. Let's he let's hear about the proof then. Hmm. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. Don't you see he's dragging his leg? See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? That's... still not enough. Plus, he's dragging both legs. Hmm, so he sprained an ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. He's gotta be hiding something. I'll press it until she squeals. I'm hopped up on Benadryl. <laughs> Slow. Where do you see the leg? Uh... It looks like the person is carrying one leg behind them when they walk, but if you look closely, both pant legs are dragging. Uh, here, give me a second. So... What she's talking about is right here, how it looks like the one leg is just kind of being dragged behind. But what she's not seeing is both legs are being dragged, and they're using the spear to walk. Are way too big for the person. Yeah, wouldn't it make sense that the person would fit in their costume? And I mean, mind you, that morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be a steel samurai. What a laugh! So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. <laughs> well, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant, then? Oh, hey, hey. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. That would clear her innocence, then. Th that would clear her, because if she knew, she would have faked the leg dragging. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props, it was a big mess. 
Hang on, yeah, wouldn't the assistant know that? He broke a prop. Sure did! His own samurai spear! Wait, samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it! This strikes me a significant detail. Better write this down in the court record. A break in the shaft had been mended with duct tape. If that's the case, it wouldn't have been able to stab anybody. It would break before then. Even if it was duct tape. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? There's one thing. So I said, especially if it's just a prop, it was swapped. Well, there's one thing about this that bothers me, which is, where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Mm. Anyway, that's not important. Uh, it's very important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. It is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree the photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers! The defense has a point. She's the only one who could have been there. <clears throat> I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. And allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice! <laughs> Wait, the old sack of bones and the stereotypical girl were the murderers. Both of them? Uh, time for Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go over the studio then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Except there is something that contradicts that. So no one else went to the studio. Then it wouldn't have been the samurai, still samurai who did it. Your grandma voice is great. <laughs> one cleared the name for the other. So the assistant could kill him. Well, hang on. That was the second photo taken that day. You may cross-examine the witness. <clears throat> the time before Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The person I saw before the studio then was Will Powers. Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking, right. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Well, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. I'm checking all of that. We don't know. Are you sure? Witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio would have had to pass by the witness. That's right, Jenny. You let him have it, edgy boy! An edgy boy? <laughs> oh, and make sure his balls are well. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, wooden bags have a way of skipping over important details after all. But for that matter, entirely forgetting them. Ah, uh, convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Okay. Before then was Will Powers. No one else went through there. Except... Yeah! Photo number two. <coughs> Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, there is, honey! So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here, I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true for the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. <clears throat> that very computer printed out this photo. 
Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is a bit at the end where it says, photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it was really the only photo? <clears throat> order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access to the security lady herself. Eh? Me? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem, I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. <coughs> uh, boy, help! Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what that means either. Hmm, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too! Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Olbeg? Ah, that's right! I just remembered something! Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. <coughs> I go through the photos recorded on the security computer desk and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. But to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. <coughs> <coughs> Mrs. Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. And of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> My throat's actually starting to hurt. Yeah. Every day after I finish guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go with these photos, court security, and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking to see. So, define that. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces. For the most part. <clears throat> For the most part. <clears throat> this is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. And to think of it, now that I remember throwing out for one photo that day. <clears throat> so who was it of? Well, who in the heck was in the photo you erased? Oof, a fanboy. A fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. <clears throat> there we go. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Yeah, we saw that. But hang on. The has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and, well, that's why they come in. Coming through the drain? So it's a child. I told you, they were freaks! <coughs> oh, and... <coughs> and... They're kids! Children! Whippersnappers! Also, who says it's a child? They could just be small enough. <coughs> Kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy! Probably second or third grade. What?! Uh, order! Order! Let me get this straight. 
you saw two people pass by the gate on the way to the main studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Yeah, yes, well, his type out there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the Samurai Spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right! As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. <coughs> yeah. So, that's why, that's why I raised the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Hmm. Mr. Powers? Uh, yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go into the studio. I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who is the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could have conceiv conceivably done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. Yeah, I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> it's just a big old bear. I want to give him a hug. <clears throat> She's small boy. Core will now recon. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you please present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy, roughly ten years of age. <clears throat> the photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there's still no one that else that could have committed the crime. I call a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claims. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great, as if the stakes weren't already high enough. So who is the person that Mr. Powers could have come in the murder? The security lady would probably be too weak to carry the spear. The graceful little boy is too small to carry the spear, so... She probably is innocent, but right now, we just need another suspect. The Steel Samurai costume was in the dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, became the Steel Samurai. You're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't it the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh-oh. Bad. Uh-oh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury? Powers and poor Hammer ran a run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. Didn't know about Powers' ankle. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. She could look like the steel. She could look the steel samurai look with that costume. 
But she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk. She wouldn't have lived. Argh. Kind of takes the legs out from under the case. Is it right? I'm afraid I have to penalize you, as warned. Ugh. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Can we move on, Mr. Ah, this fight isn't over yet. <laughs> Do it, Your Honor. One more chance, please. Very well. Go ahead. Prisoner Mr. Powers committed the murder. The old lady! It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag! Who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. Oh, I suppose. She's the only other person who would know. It means whoever was in the suit knew more about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. Wait! Whippersnapper! I don't like accusing her, but also I need to buy time. Order! Order! Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag! That's Miss Old Bag to you! It's a little late and going up. <laughs> Be safe, Luna. Get a good night's sleep. Mrs. Oldbag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume, then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Ooh, yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby. Huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump with an objection and use some new damning evidence? Well, Miss Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Huh. Wh what? What's that supposed to mean? So you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something. So I move. Maybe now's my chance to take this whole... whole way? It's further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Mrs. Oldbag's actions that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers likes a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! Only a grade schooler, though, you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? The boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Well, it's because you're nice to kids and meet your elders today, whippersnapper. I have proof. Proof? Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed the murder. The card key. Take that. You need that to get in. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. Ow. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? Oh, I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? If. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. Uh, was that her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> this poor old woman. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking on the wrong tree! Me! I'm tucking! Uh, uh. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Zolbag, what is this about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Ex 
Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, justify. So we're sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them go scot-free! That opens a lot! This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap. And I was doing what I'm told. Really? No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I would not be able to be a lawyer, man. If it's anything like this in real life, I would go insane. Oh my god. You wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. Who else? Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We would have known something was... F we should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. Yeah, that makes sense. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime. They had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? What was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. Oh, the place that was blocked off by the broken statue and tree. The path where the, the, path where the monkey's head had fallen over. Yeah, so that got blocked off. <clears throat> well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all of my questions, but... Let's continue. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So who's they? Oh, yeah. Soul Bag, this is a trial for murder! I know that, silly! Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talked. Yeah, let's take a break. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that as impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Mm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people that have been told of. <sighs> I understand, Your Honor. Since today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Sorry, Edgeworth, I have to stick you with Miss Oldbag. <laughs> Poor edgy boy. <laughs> have fun with that. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really, it's nothing. <laughs> or should I say... We'll be going down to the studio to do more investigating. We'll find out more about the director and producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get a material for cross-examination. So dang! Have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been the old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. How do you divide it? Yeah, I know. I was just buying time back there. So I had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. She wasn't really winning any points there with, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, he's just a big old bean. To be continued. Well, 
for the folks on YouTube, you know what that means. Time for this cat to be signing off. So I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, take care. Ta-ta for now.